G'day Carbonites, welcome back to Horizon Zero Dawn and uh, welcome back to another batch recording. So, uh, at the end of last episode we were running down this path and I I tried to kill some friendlies. Um, so we're going to explore this place here and we've also got these um, this town, this town, dock, wharf, whatever you want to call it, down here to explore as well. So we're going to do that. Uh, now, I need to remember, every time I start the game up, it always selects the shitty arrows. So I need to remember to actually use the good ones. Uh, the reason why I'm getting my bow, out, my bow out is because this is actually a hostile castle, which I just found out. Um, I sort of... Yeah, there we go. I walked up and realized that, uh... Shot. You're fucking kidding me. Die, you little bastard. Alright, so it's been about a week since I played. Um, I'm going to be rusty in combat. I'm, I'm just letting you know now. It's not going to be like last episode. Just smashing those fucking headshots for days. Oh, you fucking... You little bastard. Tomorrow. <laughs> Who says oh, ow ow when they me. get hit with an arrow? Come on, you little fucker. Oops. What the? Threw my camera around. No, you don't. Only a little blood. Let this strike upon the forsaken. I'm done. <laughs> Am I done? Oh yeah, you're done. Fucking bastard got a lucky shot on though. You're supposed to be able to hit really quick too. We got that skill point. And apparently, the, all the enemies I tried to do it on, they always hit me first. Or they hit me as I hit them. It's fucking bullshit. Alright, so we got this place cleared out. These guys are all the uh, Shadow Kaja as well. They're um, quite a bit tougher. But uh, Headshot still brings them down, which is always good. So just some uh, generic loot by the looks of it. Leave something else behind. Uh, that was just uh, Blaze. We don't need to worry about that. Are you going to get up the stairs, you crazy woman? All right. 
What do we got? Nothing up here by the looks of it. Oh, here's an open room. Nothing in here though. Let's try right up the top. Okay, so we could have came in the back way. I guess that's my own fault for not exploring the uh, place and just wandering through the front door. Okay, so that's the place we want to go to down there. So yeah, I think we'll repel down here. Um, we've really got to find a merchant because uh, our inventory is actually full. Oh, and raccoons. We're after raccoons still. We need that fucking... That last raccoon skin. There's a bit of medicine. Save these for the trail. Some pretty epic structures here. Alright, what do we got? Supply crate? That's a campfire. Oh, that sounded like a raccoon. There we go. Damn it. I just need one more skin. Okay, so I'm pretty sure this is going to be friendly, isn't it? Because there's a campfire here, there's a trader here. Okay, it's a, it's a Shadow Karja, but... Those guys were Shadow Karja as well, and we had to kill them. I, I don't understand the factions. Long, I assume. Negative. Maybe they, um, they're like outcasts, like shadow outcasts or something. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, looks like we got everything from in here. Oh, here we go. Merchant, that's what we need. Alright, all done. So, I cleared up a little bit of space. Oh, Outlander mercenaries have a mean look about them. Were I a traitor, I'd be pretty uneasy. Our hunger keeps us sharp. Our hunger keeps us sharp. Our hunger... A turkey's still running around. You do what you came here to do, and then you're gone. Understood? Fair enough. All right. Well, um, yeah, this place was uh, pretty empty. Okay, so uh, we want to go, what quest do we have on the go at the moment? 
I was trying to do all those hunting grounds, but I don't, um, I don't think we're going to be able to complete them all. Because I wanted to get those awesome weapons. But if we do that, it's going to be like the next three episodes are all just going to be hunting grounds. And I don't want to do that to you guys. I want to try and break it up a little bit. Um, we were doing the tall necks as well. I think we've only got one more left, to be honest. I think it's just this one down here. So, I, I reckon we do that and we just clear up the rest of this map. And then we've got a cauldron down there we could do... Could hand in some of these quests. Ah, that's right, yeah. We've got to meet Erend in the Red, Red Ridge Pass. So, I reckon we do... We do this first. I'll just uh, fast travel down here, because it'll take years to get down there. Um, we'll do that, and then that'll be done, and then we'll just fast travel back up. Oh, cool. So we got a um, metal flower we can grab as well. Looks like these guys just had a fight. <laughs> There's a dead watcher over here. They were celebrating their victory. And I ruined it. <laughs> nice health potion. That's what I forgot to get while I was talking to that trader. I forgot to pick up some more. Um, I wanted to get that. Oh, there is a trader over there. Yeah, fuck it. <laughs> On the other side of this ridge here. Uh, what weapons have you got? Just gotta keep track of it. Make sure there's no new ones popping up. Uh, yeah, we've got enough money for that. And I've got the crystal braiding, so I'm just gonna pick it up. But we're not gonna actually use it. And we need... Oh, we just need a rabbit skin for that. Lance horn. Lance horn heart for that one. Okay. Now, what I came here for. I need to sell those as well. Uh, and sell those. All right, metal flower next. It's guarded by a long leg. It's actually 
There's probably more than one. They don't seem to wander around by themselves anymore. There's a strider in the diff distance. With those legs, that machine looks as fast as it is loud. I'd better be careful. That was pretty close. <laughs> Not gonna lie. They're pretty fucking brutal. Ah, oh, damn it, it's up the top. Alright, we gotta find a way up. Oh, Glint Hawks. Fucking bastards. Must be close. I'm picking up another signal. Here we go. This looks promising. Bring these suckers down. There's this one. I always do that. <laughs> the uh, rope caster, you just have to pull the trigger to, to shoot it. Whereas I'm used to the bow where you have to draw back first, so you've got to hold it down. So whenever I grab the rope caster out, I'm constantly shooting it straight away. All right, what do we got? Oh, we could have just fucking converted them. I forgot we had those.
I'll tuck that away. There she is. Patterns on this flower are so strange. Okay, where are we going next? Um, down to this one here. Hopefully, there's a um, a repel place. Yeah, here we go. I must be closing in on the signal. I just need to get on the tall neck's head. All right, Sawtooth. I thought I saw another one as well. couple of long legs up there as well. Well, he found something. And he fucking annihilated it. Which is always good. Why are they doing radar scans? Just kill each other. Oh my god. He found he's running all over the joint. I don't know, he's found something.
Made it. Now to climb up to its head. There we go. I love how in the middle there, that's actually the map of where we are right now. It's, it's not just like a generic image. I think that's really cool. Yay, all tall necks. Okay. So that unlocked everything. That's really cool. So where's the other... Where's the other uh, hunting ground? Because I thought it would be up here. Doesn't look like it. Shit. Alright, anyway, we're going to make our way back. And uh, hand in these quests. And then uh, continue on up to this one here. Where we've got to meet Erend the Cocklord. A man named Nassan came to see me, and we came to an arrangement. I think many in Sunfall will benefit from it. All this from a stolen sword. As they say, follow the shadow, and you'll find the flame. Yeah, something like that. Alright, well, that's, um, that questline all sorted out. You'll regret not stopping when you're in the thick of it. <sighs> Couldn't imagine living anywhere else. What the fuck are all these soldiers doing? You working hard or hardly working? They're fighting machines. I'm yeah, exactly. What the fuck are you guys doing? Don't let you go. No, I'm awake and alert. <gasps> Damn it. Where the fuck am I going? <laughs> oh, that's right. We're handing in this one. I don't believe the Karja and Shadow are This would be good. Can't wait to see the look on his face. Is that our... It is! Talana, always a pleasure. I see you've brought your pet. Greetings, Sunhawk. I hereby sponsor Aloy of the Nora. For membership in the Hunter's Lodge. No. Look at her. She's lowborn, a savage. This is beneath even you, Talana. She has fulfilled the requirements. And Sun King Avad decreed the Lodge should be open to all. Would you like to take it up with him? The word of the Sun King is indeed law. Even though it would bring ruin to the Lodge, so be it. Do you... Aloy of the Nora, pledged to act rightly and nobly when in service to the Lodge all the days to follow. I do. Members of the Lodge, even though Tarkas is barely cold, I present to you Aloy of the Nora. Member and Thrush, what say you all? To the hunt! Sponsoring an outlander. <laughs> While you make meaningless gestures, I'll be finding Red Maw. Binding. He's a 40 foot fucking dinosaur made of metal. It'll be pretty easy to find. This. This is a good day. I know why I hate a cease. Why do you? My family has always boasted members in the lodge. My father and brother were both hawks. Assis let their sacrifice be forgotten. Um, what sacrifice? They died in the massacre. 
They should be honored as hawks. Instead, Assis will not let anyone mention it. What happened in the massacre? King Jaron's paranoia knew no bounds. He sent thousands of innocents to die in the Sunring. When the Hawks of the Lodge called for him to stop the slaughter, he threw them in the ring too. Yet when the machines attacked the condemned, more Hawks leapt into the ring to defend them. And my father and brother were among them. I'm... I'm so sorry. What happened to the men in the Sunring? They died fighting. If you wish to hear the story, Legan can tell it better. He saw it with his own eyes. I did not. The morning of the massacre, my father told me to meet him outside the city. He told me they were planning an escape. I waited for hours until a message came from my father. I had to leave the city. So I fled when I should have fought by his side. He didn't want you to die with them. Nor would he want their names forgotten. Especially by the man who benefited most from their deaths, Assis. How did your family come to be members of the Lodge? Karja noble houses have sent sons to the Lodge for generations. Because they needed another place to lord over the commoners. I want to change that. The idea that someone is worthy or not by virtue of birth alone. Everyone thinks they have me pegged as soon as they hear Talana Khan Padish. I hate that. I understand. My whole life I lived as an outcast from the Nora. They would have been the first to say I wasn't one of them. Yet as soon as I leave the sacred lands, everyone calls me Aloy of the Nora. It should be Aloy despite the Nora. I didn't know. I'll remember that. What's Redmaw? Few have seen it. A thunderjaw marked by years of battle. Some say it still bears the marks of over a dozen hunters on its flank. How many it has trampled along the way, we may never know. When members go hunting and never return, we often blame Redmaw. But to me, it's more than legend. It's the only machine that will unseat a cease. My sponsor nearly had it, but he didn't make it. I'm sorry. Tarkas sponsored me out of loyalty to my family. He was my last link to them, besides the Lodge itself. I have to unseat Assis. Sounds good to me. Now that you're a thrush, you should improve your reputation. Why do you hunt down a Thunderjaw and a Stormbird? You want me to go trophy hunting? You're not just any thrush. You're mine. And you better make me look good. But what about Redmaw? I will find him. And when I do, I expect you to be there. Can you believe that the Asram live on top of scrap of the old ones? They do. Somewhere up north. Alright, this sounds like fun. Let's do this. I like hunting. So what do we got? We got a storm bird down there. Thunderjaws. Gonna be a bit of a trick. Because they're out in the open. That looks like the closest one. Alright, so I do want to pick up this uh, save while we're here. There she is. We'll have to uh, read up on her. See if we can find out what her weaknesses are. Definitely better at range. <laughs> I 
All right, let's have a look at our notebook because we have spotted one before, so we should have some information on it. There it is. Okay, so the body is strong against uh, shock. Doesn't have any weaknesses though. Blaze canisters on the back. Engines are weak to tearing. Uh, that disables the dive mechanic. Freeze canister maybe on the top of its uh, neck or something. Lightning gun underneath. That'd probably be easiest to get. Uh, trouble is it won't do anything to it because the, the body is resistant to shock. We might just have to fucking tie this bastard down. If we can. Moves pretty quick. Yeah, I've got to lead it a little bit further. Oh, it went right through its fucking wings. Takes four lots of rope to bring it down. Holy shit. <sighs> Rope's giving. I couldn't get that freeze canister. I did, however, freeze it. So we should be able to do quite a bit of damage to it now.
There she is. Pretty decent loot. Awesome. All right, next one is the Thunder Jaw. All right, so it's going to be a similar tactic, I think. We need to, um, we definitely need to freeze it. Like we just can't, we can't do enough damage to it without freezing it. Yeah, that's it there. <laughs> oh, fuck. Okay. Fucking glint orcs. So we're gonna try and get some... Uh, some height advantage. Okay, switch over to the Tear Blast arrows because those two disc launchers are imperative that we take those off straight away. Because they, they will one-shot me if it gets to use them. Alright, so I'm going to wait for it to come back over this side. And then we'll take them off. Did I get it? Fuck. That'll there help. it is. Okay, we got it. And we gotta freeze it. There she is. Alright, let's quickly get our loot before those glint hawks come and take it. Nice, there's a number, another uh, damage coil in there, 44%. That was pretty good. Alright, so we've got the trophies. Let's pick up some loot. That wasn't loot. Uh, that went pretty smooth, honestly, because um, those guys can be a handful to take down. Where's Talana? Maybe upstairs. You miss me? No Assis either. Maybe Ligon knows where they are. Maybe. You have trophies? I can hang on to them until the Sunhawk returns. Where are Assis and Talana? Assis received word about Red Maw and rushed out. Talana found out a short time later and had to follow. They both went alone? 
Assis left without his thrush. Delana did as well. No, I saw some outlanders follow after her. I wouldn't put it past Assis to try something underhanded to get the kill. Where have they gone? I have to help if I can. Hmm, you might be right. They've gone southeast, headed for the spear shafts. You'd better hurry. The deadliest game. This sounds like a good mission, but we are actually going to have to leave it there, guys. Very long episode as it is. I hope you enjoyed this one. Where are we heading off tomorrow? There we go. We're going down in the jungle. Seems like a weird spot for a Thunderjaw to be. It should be a lot of fun. I hope you enjoyed this one, guys. As always, don't forget to lead your targets, and I'll see you next time.